the last decade, we've been protected under the Equality Act 2010. The Act brought together 116 separate pieces of legislation to protect the rights of individuals from unfair treatment, to advance equality and promote a fair and more equal society. Sounds great, but we've lived under that Act for a decade. So have you. Did you even know it existed? Welcome to Box Tickers, the stories behind the stats. We're Sarah and Rachel from Art With Heart, an arts company in Salford in Greater Manchester. As two queer, neurodivergent women, we wanted to take our experience of prejudice, our unequal treatment in society, and turn it into action, into change. This year, the Equality Act 2010 turns 10. And whilst we're stuck in our societal bubbles and also literally in our pandemic bubbles, we wanted to talk about how the world is about to change and how we need it to change. As the world crumbles and we start to rebuild it, we wanted to create a podcast which looked to the future, to what we need the new world to look and be like. A place where equality feels not only a possibility, but reachable and achievable. We've brought together 13 artists from across Greater Manchester, poets, teachers, theatre makers, to create five minute responses to the protected characteristics listed in the Equalities Act and to talk about what we need to move forward. Made with an entire team who tick a multitude of boxes and are tired of ticking them, over the next four episodes, you'll hear... Equality shouldn't feel like luck, shouldn't feel like I'm praying not to be that short straw about to be plucked. So yeah, I might be part of a country that has some kind of economic stability, but that doesn't make me feel free. People like me, we are stars jettisoned from our nebula. And we have to travel through strange galaxies throughout our lives. I want to see a cultural and societal shift we so desperately need for childcare to be seen as a parental challenge rather than a mother's challenge. And even though all brains are different, Our society has been built to accommodate just one type of brain. He basically said that he was sickened by the thought that his son could have lost in a fight to a black boy, that the idea of his son being beaten in a fight by a black boy was blasphemous. First episode out very soon.